John Martin coming to you live from Madeira Beach, Florida, the home of Hubbard's Marina. We're doing something a little different today. We're going to be filming the half day. So people are starting to come on. Good morning. How y'all doing? We're going to make you internet famous. Good morning, young man. How are you? Ready to catch some fish? All right. Where y'all coming from to make this trip? Right, Indiana. Indiana. All yeah. right. A Hoosier. All right, you ready to wind on one? I'm gonna film you catching a fish before this day is over. He's a good fish. I bet. Good morning, Captain Frank. How are you this afternoon? I'm doing pretty good. Well, we're out on the AM half day. What uh, what are we be targeting today? Well, uh, our main target is gonna be the gray snappers, and uh, we'll probably see some sea bass and porgies and hopefully a few hogfish. Basically, what kind of depths of water do we fish out here? Well, you know, that all ranges with uh, with the winds um, in the seas. But uh, in general, uh, we fish anywhere from 40 to 55 feet on a half day. Usually takes about an hour in and out, about three hours of fishing time kind of thing. Yeah, that's, like a, that. that's about right. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit longer if we're, you know, obviously if we're traveling to, you know, a 50, 55 foot, which, uh, you know, it'll be a little bit longer, a little bit less fishing time. But usually when we go yeah. up, We got Diamond Jim here on the half day. You've seen him on the 39 hour, now see him on the half day. He is hooking them up out here, man, making breakfast sandwiches. He's sitting about 10 minutes away. I'm looking forward to it. You're always do an excellent job, Jim. Thank you, sir. All right, there you go. That's what we're looking for. Good job, ma'am. Thank you. How long are the sea bass got to be kept? 10 inches. 10 inches. This gentleman's got one. I don't think he's quite big enough. All right. Good job, sir. That's a nice size one there. Beautiful size. There's a nice one. Yes. Good job, sir. Thank you. Captain America strikes. <laughs> nice fish, sir. Good job. Captain America strikes again. <laughs> What is it, John? Those are the people that wish they were going fishing. Hey guys, this is John Martin coming to you live from Madeira Beach, the home of Hubbard's Marina. We're about to go out on a 39 hour red snapper gag grouper, mango snapper. You name it, we're going to try to get it. Pretty much everything is open except trigger fish and amber jacks. So we're going to definitely go after it. So how's it going? Here Tell us go. all Bump about it. We're a little bump there. there. Keep, your, keep your hands inside the rail. All right. Well, guys, we're headed back out there again for the June 11th, I think it is, trip. Yep, and, absolutely. Uh, first couple of trips we did all right, and uh, but we, we've we been able to cross off an area this year. It must have got fished hard by commercial guys this winter. but. Uh, Went north in that area there's a small fish there and there shouldn't be they should be big but we went south and they're all big from there so we kind of figured out where the red snappers are and uh this last trip we smoked them the big red snappers not a ton of grouper yes sir so uh we're gonna get back out there on those big red snappers we'll fish through the night tonight on gags and mangroves and then shoot offshore and go big fish. Hey, Good Chris. Ground, whatever it is. Oh, so. Oh, he's just splashing. Oh, I ain't gapping it. No, it ain't, it ain't worth gapping. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, we're, we're slowing the boat down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a mac. It's a mackerel. Hey.
Candyman Creek. All right, we're about to get started here on our first drop of this 39 hour American Red Snapper gag grouper season trip. The Marines have landed. Good morning, sir. Tell Bob hello. Hey, Bob, still fishing, Bob. John Martin with the mangrove. John Martin putting on a clinic. Nice mangrove. That's a little bit. Oh yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Good job. Alright, mangrove. Nice one. Wow, I've been dry. Talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be on the video. Exactly no, we're right. just cruising, man. We're just we're just cruising in low gear. Cruising in low gear on that LD50 Saltiga. That's my fish right there coming up. Uh, it's, it's a scamp. He's hooked good. He's good. Get him up here. Give me my first scamp, baby. Roger for any day of the week. All right. Thanks, Will. What's your guess, John? A pretty good gag, I do believe. Let's hope so. Coming up on the top. Oh, that's a big red. Snag a red grouper. Anybody can get them. Anybody can get them in the mouth. That's why I like <laughs> I mean, he felt so big. Like, look how I'm pulling him, you know? Pretty good fish. He's a keeper. Oh, yeah, he's definitely a keeper. I thought he was a big jack. Yeah, he's a nice red grouper. Big jay with the gap. Alright. Nice red grouper. John Martin's got something pretty big here. Ran him down halfway down the boat. He's got it coming. Good shark. Is it a hammerhead? No, it's not a hammerhead, is it? Not a hammerhead. Looks like a sandbar. Getting his head up. He's ready. Nice. There he is. Nice. Not in the spot. He smiled. Cut me off now, whoever's the Doing good. You got the best cheeseburger within at least 50 miles of here, maybe 100. Probably 100, yeah. I'm not trying to take a burger, guys. I'm here to judge you that I thought I'd uh, get my six. Here's all the fixings. I'm just going to put the burger on the bus, man. Here's all the people waiting. You ready for a burger? 
Yeah. Alright, don't make yourself look bad, Shannon. You're on camera. Don't embarrass us. They'll never let us back. Oh, nice hey, red snapper. Looks like he's hooked well. He's hooked well. You can probably hand on him. Gav! Cut the tail off of that one. Yeah, a lot of these spots are going to be a few. Oh, yeah. There you go. Got you a red. One. Two more to go. All right. Nine pays off. One of my. Uh, oh, that's a nice vermilion, man. I'm getting hit as I speak. That's a good one. Sorry, Eric. Didn't mean to cut you short. That was a big dolphin, dude. Did you see that? Oh, I got a digger. A gold digger. Oh. Pop it in the cruise control. <laughs> Best idea you ever had doing this reel. It is a Cadillac. Just That's like no effort to reel this fish in, and it's a nice fish, I can tell you. Right in two, one in the mouth, one in right between the eyes. Wow! Look at that, right between the eyes. Eric, where are you from? Uh, Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. Oh, I'm dropping them everywhere. That's all right. You're taking but them home, so. <laughs> this is your first 39 hour. All yeah, right, man. Red biggest wrist snap of your life? Yes, sir. Uh, Pretty stoked right now? I'm so excited. I'm ready to get back down. Hell yeah, buddy. All right. All right, first official fish on the slow pitch jig. Acura Valiant 500N. And the Benny Ortiz 8 foot. Ain't nothing big, but it's a fish. It's a vermilion on a jig. Slow pitch style. Snapper. That's the target species. All right. Good job, man. Scott has a grouper coming up here, boys. It's head, does it? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. 
Good job, Scott. Thank you, brother. Yes, nice sir. Trip. All right. It was one year good day. Yes, sir. All right. This is going to do it. We're having to leave, leave a little earlier because we're so far from the house. But this last stop was jam up. Pretty stellar, man, except that I got beat out on the last stop. I'm glad he got that fish there. It was a nice fish. Yeah, it's a nice fish. But the thing about your fish was that there was a bigger one there. Probably. Your fish was not a rusty belly. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> but that's a good sign, too. Usually they start turning into a rusty belly at like 20 pounds. And he got a 30 pounder today that was the female on the spot. Yeah. And not the big male. So there's, he's got one left to get over that spot. There man. you go. Sounds good to me. Well, we ended it as good as we could have. Too good almost. We got this deck's full of giant fish right now. We got to count them, make sure everybody's got their limit, and get on back 90-something miles to John's Pass. And do what? And we'll see you guys back at the, the dock. dock. Sounds good. All right, day two, Saturday evening, dinner time, lasagna. Miss Tammy, the chef, cooking up a nice lasagna dinner for us. We had great meals all weekend, and we sure do appreciate all your help. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Italian green beans. Yes, ma'am. Good. All right, some butter on your beans. Sure. Add a butter, sorry. <laughs> That's quite all right, Tammy. I appreciate you so much. Dessert? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Johns Pass Bridge, pretty much home. Ended a very productive 39 hour trip. Lots of big gags caught. Lots of big red snapper, pretty much a boat limit. Mangoes bit pretty fair. Uh, every fish bit pretty fair. I guess the red grouper, we caught a few, not too many, but big bee liners, corgis. We got a couple of uh, gags uh, pushing 30. One, I caught one on the next to the last stop that probably would have most times been the jackpot. It was until the last stop. And one of the last fish on the last stop, very similar to last weekend, came up, a rusty belly. I'm guessing he, my grouper is between 25 and 30 pounds. And the one that's gonna beat me out is a rusty belly between 30 and 35 pounds. So. Uh, but I uh, can't complain, I caught three gags, nice gags, including a pretty good size. So we'll see you back here at the dock. I'll film the bridge opening in a minute, and then we'll, uh, we'll show you the fish unloading. Coming into Boca Siga Bay. Let's get out here and see what's going on. Barrels of fish. This is Bucket. what's going on around here. That's that last <laughs> one. <laughs> that the rusty belly? Yeah. That's the one that beat me out. You'll see mine's pretty decent, but uh oh, you got beat out. Okay. I got beat out on the last like five minutes of the last stop. Yeah. Damn time, Damn time you got beat. Bro. 
The one that really pissed me off is the mango, though. I caught about a nine-pound mango. I'm getting excited. They, then they tell me they're not in the pool. Yeah. They find a way to screw me. <laughs> Good morning, Richie. It's always good, good to see somebody with a barrel full of gag. Nice, isn't it? That is, man. Look at them tails coming out of there. I like that tail, man. They're the right color. to load up here shortly y'all don't mind if i open it do you i, I, I know that correct then full that's it that's the idea starts out empty you come here with empty coolers you leave with full ones that is what it's all about We're beginning to fill that one up started off with two nice guys got a red grouper mangoes good job fellas great job Got in that cooler yet? Yeah, that's a, that's a good snap. way. A good way to start off a cooler, big red snapper and a beautiful scamp. Very nice fit. Oh man! All right. There you go. That's the way to fill up a cooler. Good job, sir. Sir, you enjoy it? Enjoyed it, man. Would you recommend it to others? I'll be back at bringing everybody with me. Grand friend. That one is filling up for sure. Yeah. Good job. Sure. This one's beginning to fill up. All right. Fish in the boxes, fish on the deck. Nice fish. Seven. Where'd she go? We're lining up for the fish cleaning here. We'll be having here. As soon as they get all the fish on the What? Yeah, I bought it. There's yeah, Leo, I bought big it. show off. I told you I was yeah. Yeah, That's lunch for your fish. <laughs> that's just lunch for yours. <laughs> Looks like you did pretty well, sir. He did, I guess he has to pay attention. Woohoo! Good job. Marina. All right. You don't have to duck. I want people on the video. <laughs> people ducking from the video. Good job, man. Good job. You beat me. You nipped me out, man. Two trips in a row in the last spot. That one's not going to weigh 35. No, he's over 30, though. Yeah, he's 32 or 3, maybe. You gotta be happy but hurting at the same time. Oh yeah, well what really got me was I got about a nine pound mango but they didn't put We didn't in the have pool. a jackpot mango on this trip. He's touching barely. 32 full. What I say was Alright, this one this one weighs not enough and that one weighs less. Yeah. <laughs> I think I need a new battery. 
just got to go a long ways to get deep off the neighbors. Almost 13, 12.95. Still my personal best. And 12 and a half. 13 plus 12, 25. That's not a bad average, though. No. no that's a great average. Act like you're proud of those bad boys. Woo! There you go. All right, that's going to do it for this 39 hour weekend trip. They're getting ready to go right back out for another one. Check out hubbardsmarina.com for more details. I'll be back next course, weekend. Lord. No trip is complete without the lovely ladies of Hubbard's Marina.